In Bayesian probability theory, if the posterior distributions p, i, x, are in the same family as the prior probability distribution p, i, the prior and posterior are then called conjugate distributions, and the prior is called a conjugate prior for the likelihood function. For example, the Gaussian family is conjugate to itself with respect to a Gaussian likelihood function, if the likelihood function is Gaussian, choosing a Gaussian prior over the mean will ensure that the posterior distribution is also Gaussian. This means that the Gaussian distribution is a conjugate prior for the likelihood that is also Gaussian. The concept, as well as the term conjugate prior, were introduced by Howard Raver and Robert Schlaefer in their work on Bayesian decision theory. A similar concept had been discovered independently by George Alfred Barnard. Consider the general problem of inferring a distribution for a parameter i given some data more data x. From Bayes' theorem, the posterior distribution is equal to the product of the likelihood function and prior, normalized by the probability of the data. Let the likelihood function be considered fixed. The likelihood function is usually well determined from a statement of the data generating process. It is clear that different choices of the prior distribution p, i, may make the integral more or less difficult to calculate, and the product p, x i, a, p, i, may take one algebraic form or another. For certain choices of the prior, the posterior has the same algebraic form as the prior. Such a choice is a conjugate prior. A conjugate prior is an algebraic convenience, giving a closed form expression for the posterior. Otherwise, a difficult numerical integration may be necessary. Further, conjugate priors may give intuition by more transparently showing how a likelihood function updates a prior distribution. All members of the exponential family have conjugate priors. Example. The form of the conjugate prior can generally be determined by inspection of the probability density or probability mass function of a distribution. For example, consider a random variable which consists of the number of successes in n Bernoulli trials with unknown probability of success q in 0, 1. This random variable will follow the binomial distribution, with a probability mass function of the form. Expressed as a function of, this is the form for some constants and generally this functional form will have an additional multiplicative factor ensuring that the function is a probability distribution that is the integral over the entire range is 1 this factor will often be a function of and but never of in fact the usual conjugate prior is the beta distribution with parameters where and are chosen to reflect any existing belief or information and i is the beta function acting as a normalizing constant. In this context, and are called hyperparameters, to distinguish them from parameters of the underlying model. It is a typical characteristic of conjugate priors that the dimensionality of the hyperparameters is one greater than that of the parameters of the original distribution. If all parameters are scalar values, then this means that there will be one more hyperparameter than parameter. But this also applies to vector-valued and matrix-valued parameters. If we then sample this random variable and get s successes and f failures, we have which is another beta distribution with parameters. This posterior distribution could then be used as the prior for more samples, with the hyperparameters simply adding each extra piece of information as it comes. Pseudo observations it is often useful to think of the hyperparameters of a conjugate prior distribution as corresponding to having observed a certain number of pseudo observations with properties specified by the parameters. For example, the values and of a beta distribution can be thought of as corresponding to successes and failures if the posterior mode is used to choose an optimal parameter setting, or successes and failures if the posterior mean is used to choose an optimal parameter setting. In general, for nearly all conjugate prior distributions, the hyperparameters can be interpreted in terms of pseudo observations. This can help both in providing an intuition behind the often messy update equations, as well as to help choose reasonable hyperparameters for a prior. Interpretations equals analogy with eigenfunctions equals conjugate priors are analogous to eigenfunctions in operator theory in that they are distributions on which the conditioning operator acts in a well-understood way.
thinking of the process of changing from the prior to the posterior as an operator. In both eigenfunctions and conjugate priors, there is a finite dimensional space which is preserved by the operator, the output is of the same form as the input. This greatly simplifies the analysis, as it otherwise considers an infinite dimensional space. However, the processes are only analogous, not identical, conditioning is not linear, as the space of distributions is not closed under linear combination, only convex combination, and the posterior is only of the same form as the prior, not a scalar multiple. Just as one can easily analyze how a linear combination of eigenfunctions evolves under application of an operator, one can easily analyze how a convex combination of conjugate priors evolves under conditioning. This is called using a hyperprior, and corresponds to using a mixture density of conjugate priors, rather than a single conjugate prior. Equals dynamical system equals, one can think of conditioning on conjugate priors as defining a kind of dynamical system, from a given set of hyperparameters, incoming data updates these hyperparameters, so one can see the change in hyperparameters as a kind of time evolution of the system, corresponding to learning. Starting at different points yields different flows over time. This is again analogous with the dynamical system defined by a linear operator, but note that since different samples lead to different inference, this is not simply dependent on time, but rather on data over time. For related approaches, see recursive Bayesian estimation and data assimilation. Table of conjugate distributions, let n denote the number of observations. In all cases below, the data is assumed to consist of n points. If the likelihood function belongs to the exponential family, then a conjugate prior exists, often also in the exponential family. See exponential family, conjugate distributions. Equals discrete distributions equals. Equals continuous distributions equals. See also, beta binomial distribution. Notes. References.